is Jay and you're watching Holy Shiitake! Today I'm going to show you my experience in Hakodate on a tight budget. So keep watching and enjoy the show! It was February 2020 and I was assigned to go on a fieldwork to Hakodate and teach elementary schools and a junior high school in a small town called Hokuto. While you're watching, don't forget to like and subscribe! The regular train ride from Sapporo to Hakodate took four long hours but it wasn't that bad because I could enjoy looking at the outside view from my window. My ticket cost about 19,000 yen, or approximately 180 US dollars for a round trip. While waiting to arrive at my destination, I relaxed and watched the views of the sea the houses, and the buildings filled with snow. I just arrived Hakodate. It's not so cold, but it is cold. But uh, so far, my trip is safe. So yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> I finally arrived at Comfort Hotel. It's just a four-minute walk from Hakodate Station. What? <laughs> okay, much better. All right. So I just arrived. This is actually for a business trip that I was assigned to. Uh, I would say I really like this place. It's comfortable, it's quiet, it's clean. A single occupancy costs 4,000 yen a night, which isn't bad, and there are plenty of nearby places to eat. There were quite a lot of interesting choices. But for tonight, I decided to have some ramen. I am so tired. I just want to lie down! Oh, no. Good night, guys. Okay, it's another job for me today. So, gotta do my teaching for the day. It's just until 12 in the afternoon for me. So after that, I'll probably just stroll again back to my hotel and uh, walk around Hakodate Station again. After the half-day teaching job, I drove to Hakodate Botanical Garden to take a walk and enjoy viewing the plants that only grow in hot temperatures. It's amazing to see these greenery being able to survive in such a cold wintry place like Hokkaido.
Look at that cute turtle over there. And he got some friends too. This plant reservation may be small, but there are some interesting varieties of trees. There are some tropical flowers too. And if you like cacti, well, they're not really interesting to me, but just be careful not to touch them. Foot bath. Monkey. The hot tubbing snow monkeys are located just beside the botanical garden. It's just a tiny space for a number of bathing monkeys, but hopefully they're comfortable enough. I just got back to my car, and uh, I've seen the I've seen the tubbing monkeys, and they don't look so happy. It seems that the tourist site itself is not really well maintained. I mean, one ticket costs around 300 yen, but that's just not a lot because it's winter and the virus outbreak is going on. There's just not a lot of tourists. I expected there would be a full parking today, but the space is just wide enough for me to choose whatever place I want for the parking. So uh, I took a video of the monkeys and um, they seem to need more care. I feel sorry about the animals. I also went inside the botanical reserve. It has been quite a long time that I haven't seen a banana, a banana tree <laughs> in my life because back here in Hokkaido you wouldn't see any tropical plants around so I think that botanical reserve is quite a good thing to see. Overall this um, this theme park would probably be good during the summer but I think it's not really popular in the winter. So after dinner at the ramen restaurant nearby I checked out 7-Eleven to find something that would give you some interest. So I bought this Baby Star ramen chips so this is chicken flavor. This is my most favorite Baby Star ramen flavor. This costs like 95 yen, so it's like around 95 cents. Next we have this Hai Chu. This is just strawberry flavored chewy candy. This costs around 85 yen at the supermarkets, but at 7-Eleven I bought it around 95, 95 yen, but that's not too bad. This one is quite new. This is cherry blossom coated chocolate sticks yeah yeah this is th this could be good yeah this is good yeah I like it it's very good and um, let's find out what this tastes like <laughs> 